If you've been dealing with a flickering screen in Windows 10 when you make a clone copy of your hard drive, I have a solution for you. It's worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. Before you make your clone, and I've used the C-Disk Disk Wizard by Acronis. I've used the Western Digital version by Acronis. And I kept having flickering screens when trying to reboot from my cloned hard drive. Before you do the cloning, I'm going to suggest you try this. Click on your control panel. Go to Power Options. Click on Choose What the Power Button Do. And click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable and you'll be able to see at the bottom of the screen turn on fast startup recommended now I suggest if you want to avoid the flickering issue to uncheck turn on fast startup it's not going to save you that much time in my case it probably saved me five six eight seconds but uncheck turn on fast startup After you make those changes in the control panel, go through the clone disk process in your Acronis software. Removing the fast startup option will eliminate a hibernation file that remembers a lot of the settings that your system had. So when you try to boot from your second hard drive, the cloned hard drive, it gets confused based on the hibernation file that was created during the fast startup process. So to test if this process worked properly. I have two hard drives in my system. I disconnected the primary SATA cable for my good hard drive. I disconnected the SATA cable going to my second cloned hard drive. And I stuck the primary SATA cable into my cloned hard drive what I call old. Started it up and no screen flickering. All other hard drives are disconnected except for the one cloned hard drive.